Hi, Ryder and Milo. It's Grandma Denise. It's sort of a rainy day today. So I found a story called No Time for Monsters, which I thought would be fun to read on a rainy day. No Time for Monsters. So let's see if we can look at this story. What I like about the story is that it has English words and Spanish words. It has English words and Spanish words. No time for monsters with English words and Spanish words. So let's share this story. No time for monsters. No hay tiempo para monstruos. I will read in English, but you can go back and read and practice with Spanish with your mom and dad. No time for monsters. So here we go. One morning, Mama went into Roberto's room with a basket full of laundry. She plopped the basket on the floor and gave him a kiss. Here's a little monster. He has monster ears, monster wings, monster tail, and monster teeth. She went in and gave him a kiss. He's sleeping, and there's his little monster toy. Roberto, wake up. It's time to clean your room. I don't want to. Roberto pulled the covers over his head and peeked out. Why don't you want to clean your room, Mama asked, with her hands on her hips. Roberto pouted. If I clean my room, the closet monster might grab me and take me away forever. Do you think there's a closet monster? I don't think there's a closet monster. I don't think so. But I could be wrong. Let's see what the story shows. So she asks Roberto to clean his room. There's Mama. There's Roberto. Oh, wait a minute. Is that a closet monster? Hmm. Is that real? I'm not sure. Let's read more and find out. There are no monsters in the closet, Mama said. Maybe you can help me, Roberto said. The closet monster is afraid of you. Mama sighed as she picked up the basket. Roberto, I have no time for monsters. Clean your room. Okay, said Roberto, but if the closet monster gets me, you'll be sorry. Is there a closet monster or isn't there? I'm not sure. It looks like there's a picture of one. We'll have to keep reading about this. That afternoon, Mama ground cumin into molcachete molcachete, and she added it to the pot of boiling beans while Roberto played in the kitchen. So Mama was busy cooking. Mama's cooking. Roberto's at the kitchen table. Looks kind of like your kitchen table. I see one, two, three, four, five monsters playing with him. <gasps> and I see a little monster picking out of the cupboard, and a little monster picking out peeking out of that cupboard, and there's a little monster over there. They have funny little monsters in their house. Roberto, please wipe the table. I don't want to, Roberto, picked up a crayon and began to draw. Why don't you want to wipe the table? Mama asked with her hands on her hips. Roberto pouted. If I wipe the table, the under the table monster might grab me and take me away forever. You think that's true? Do you think there's an under the table monster? I think it's, it's his imagination. I think he's being silly. Because he's got a little monster friend right here. He thinks there's an under table monster. I'm not sure. What do you think? There are no monsters under the table, Mama said. Well, maybe you could help me, Roberto said. The under the table monster is afraid of you. Mama sighed as she spooned ranchero beans into two bowls. Roberto, I have no time for monsters. Wipe the table. Okay, Roberto said. But if the under the table monster gets me, 
you'll be sorry. I think the under the table monster looks cute. I don't think he's even scary. But Mama has no time for monsters, does she? After dinner, Mama washed the dishes in the kitchen sink. Roberto, please sweep the floor. I don't want to. Roberto aimed and shot one marble into another. Why don't you want to sweep the floor? Mama asked with her hands on her hips. Roberto pouted. If I sweep the floor, the dust monster might grab me and take me away forever. Dust monster? First, there's a closet monster, an under the table monster. Now he thinks there's a dust monster. Hmm. Why? Well, Looks like a, there is an under table, the dust monster, but it looks like a friendly monster, not a mean monster. There are no monsters in the dust, Mama said. Maybe you could help me, Roberto said. The dust monster is afraid of you. Mama sighed as she washed the big pot. Roberto, I have no time for monsters. Sweep the floor. Okay, Roberto said. But if the dust monster gets me, you'll be sorry. Hmm. So she's mom is asking Roberto to sweep the floor. I don't know if there's a dust monster or not, but he has a little monster toy, doesn't he? He likes to hold on to his monster toy. So I bet he's not really afraid of monsters. That evening, when Mama was mopping the floor, Roberto walked over to her, leaving footprints on the tile. Uh-oh, he left footprints on the tile. So Mama was washing the floor, and she sees the footprints after she washed the floor. There's a monster. There's a toy monster. And there's a little monster by the, the mop. Mama, please read me a story, Roberto said. Mama continued her work. I cannot read you a story. Oh, Roberto looks sad because he wants Mama to read a story, but she's really busy too. She has things that she has to do. Why not, Roberto asked with his hands on his hips. If I read you a story, the work monster might grab me and take me away forever. <gasps> Roberto gasped. Really? There's a work monster? Is there? I'm not. Wow, I've never heard of a work monster. Oh, there's a work monster right there. Oh my gosh. There's a work monster. <laughs> but maybe if you help me, Mama handed Roberto the mop. Okay, Roberto said, I will help you. Then will you read me a story? Yes, Mama said. But if the work monster gets me, you will be sorry. <laughs> work monster. So there's Mama and Roberto. And Roberto is helping Mama mop the floor. And there's his little toy monster. And there's a book about monsters, too. Roberto giggled. Mama, the work monster won't get you. How do you know? I know, Roberto said with a grin, because the work monster is afraid of me. That's funny. The work monster is afraid of Roberto. I think that's funny. Mama and Roberto laughed as they cleaned the floor. When they finished, Roberto picked up a, out a book and they snuggled in a big comfy chair. As they read, the work monster came, but Mama and Roberto had no time for monsters. Because Mama and Roberto were reading a book. They had no time for monsters. They were having such fun. They didn't care about those monsters because they were reading a special book. I love that story. That is a great, great story. No time for monsters. So many different kinds of monsters in this story. That was fun. I hope you like the story. I like the story a lot. And I talked to your daddy today and we're talking about maybe 
in about four weeks that we can all see each other. We'll see. We'll see how things are going. But I sure miss you guys. Okay. Well, I love you and you have a good night and we'll talk again soon.